Andy, yes, I'm already ready for all the comments I'm going to get about how the background looks bad. At my mother's house, we don't really have a review station anymore over here, but yeah. So, what's up guys, Ghost Rider 822 here bringing guys with my first NECA review. And this is on the NECA 2017 Pennywise the Dancing Clown set. Um, just got this from Amazon yesterday. Uh, I pre-ordered it off there, and yeah. Pennywise the Dancing Clown. On the side you have it, with like all the stuff. Like a giant pile of trash they had in the movie. Um, right here we have some commercial pictures. And it reads, Seven young outcasts band together to battle the ancient, shape-shifting evil that emerges every 27 years to prey on the town's children. On their town's children. Okay. And first you have the, with my, the head of Mike's parents hands um him dancing deadlights head flute lady head uh parents head uh claws spider tentacles whatever you want to call it i'm not sure i got a head deadlights head again okay yep yeah. and so on the other side on the same picture as the other one and getting this app back oh yeah uva let's go okay yeah, let me ask again this back you open the flap down like in the movie and you see the figure in all its glory. So let's just get this guy out of his packaging so I can mess around with him. And here is Pennywise the Dancing Clown all out of his packaging. And, um, I think the power of White Ranger has some competition at being my favorite figure of this year. Um, this guy is incredible. He is my second NECA figure. I thought Michael Myers was pretty good. He's alright. He was a good figure. And But this guy, man, he's about to beat him. Uh, let's get into this, uh, his, um, uh, let's get into Pennywise's accessories. Don't take a closer look at the figure. And here are all Pennywise's accessories, and holy mama. Well, I mean, you can consider this one, but it's really not. Um, uh, yeah, holy mama, he comes with a lot. So let's just get into his arms. Um, he has these regular arms, and the, f you know, fists or open hands so just plug in relatively easily, you know move and then you just pop out i was really scared it was gonna be really difficult to pop in and off but on and off but it's probably not and i will probably never use those fists because you never see pretty much punch anyone it'll most likely stay like open hands yeah so there you go and the heads i'll start with my least favorite to favorite <clears throat> least favorite's the flute lady i mean it looks really cool but, you know, that's something extraordinary. Let's actually pop the arms on. I'll show all the heads on the body. I usually don't do this, but this guy is so amazing that I think I should. Put that one on. And Oh, yeah, these are really easy to pop on, honestly. Also. Just kind of line it up and it pops on. Okay, yeah. So let's move the camera up. The one problem I have is a little difficult to stand sometimes. Because I'm being really careful with the speed because I don't want to break them. But yeah, so putting the flute lady head. Oh yeah, this comes off, and I'm just do the back. I mean, this move, but this is seems to be stuck in that position. I'm not gonna force it because it's gonna snap. I know it. So yeah, so flute lady head pops on like that, and you know it looks it looks okay. I just think it should have had a flute lady. I should figure. Okay, that's my least favorite head. Um. Next, um, I'm not sure. I think all the other ones are, I don't have a favorite out of all of them. This one looks so very accurate that it shocks me. Let me turn the light on because everything will look better if I do that. Just give me a second to turn the light on. And I'm back, and yes, this head looks very accurate. It's kind of shocking how accurate it looks. It just looks scarily accurate. Take that one off. Let's pop on the regular one. Just him being himself. <clears throat> and that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one. Probably be how it looks on my next one, Michael Myers. I have. I'm getting all the original ones. I have. I've ordered, my sister got me Jace, my other sister got me Jason, 
for my birthday. I don't know when I'm gonna get probably get there around my birthday tomorrow when I go see Child's Play over there. But yeah, this head sculpt, Deadlight's head sculpt's amazing. And what you wanna do right when you get the figure out is you should open that. Okay. I was scared for a minute I was gonna break it, but that's how you go. Just little pegs, boom. It's so like that, and there's just a little thing in there. That looks stupid. It has supposed to be a little thing in there. You take it out, pop this back in. Really easy. And then, the moment of truth, senor. Pop. And that looks awesome. I will say, you know, it shines around the head. A lot more than I like it to, but that's alright. You'll only be looking at it like this. That looks amazing. I love that. Popping the head off and putting back on the regular one. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And uh, interchanging the arms. Pop that one off. Then pop this one on. Again, really easy. Nothing to worry about. Just pop it in the deadlights head off. Oh yeah, the button to turn it on and off. It's right here. So pop it, boom, it's on. Okay, and then popping the other one on. I find out that this one is a lot looser because, like, because it can, like, this one can hold in the air perfectly, but this one seems to want to, like, rotate to the side all the time. I think it's really, it can be, it can be annoying, but it's, it's not bothering me right now. And that looks awesome. Just this going on articulation of the arms, real quick. Uh, the double joint right here, so it bends all the way in. And then right here, single joint right there that bends over 90 degrees. Yeah, it's really cool. So let's go into regular articulation. Right, let me pop these arms back on real quick. The articulation on this die is shockingly great. I did not expect that. I expect it used to be like not very articulated, but Nick has really stepped up their game. Come on. Come on. And pop. Yeah, it can be difficult sometimes. Alright, let's just go ahead and real quick get into articulation. Move everything out of the way. And let me just get him stand. I'll just do it. So, going into painting wise articulation. This head sculpt, it doesn't really look up at much. Looks down a decent amount. Go side to side. A little bit of neck pivot. Popping this one off. I'm only going to go over the ones that really have a big difference. This one. You don't really get the pivot as much as you could. You can't really look up at all. Flute lady head sculpt. <sighs> Doesn't look up either. Down. One more. Side to side. Let me pivot. And this one. Head swivels. And each of these are independently articulated. Move like that. Swivel. And you can all come out. i to show you there's that. But yep, they all come out. And what you can do, that's probably should have this in regular accessories, but you can have them fully open mouth penny wise. And that looks looks really scary, I might add. That's creepy as heck. Yeah, I might get the well house penny wise just to um have the open mouth head sculpt. But yeah, going into the rest of the figure's articulation, um arms move out that much, which is pretty good. Down, forward backwards you can get a swivel right there swivel right there it's joint joint swivel right here he has swivel right there hinge up and down rotate it hinge that, that way and I'm gonna be careful with this one because I saw Strymer's Prime break his yeah okay he goes forward that much doesn't really go back does swivel um the legs gonna move on the same pace, like, but let's try it. Uh, here, forward that much, back that much, out, not as much. And just thigh cut right there. Double joint knees. He has a cut right there. He has a cut at the knee, and the knee hinges down, up, and ankle or pivot. All right, let's try to accomplish this stop motion segment.
And going in for some size comparisons, here he is next to an average teenage body mold figure. Here he is next to Spider-Man. And don't forget, he's a 7-inch figure, so he's going to be a little taller. Here he is next to the average adult male body mold. Here he is next to Captain Marvel Nick Fury. And here he is next to the other figure that is challenging him. For, for for favorite figure of the year, and that is the White Ranger. We'll see which one makes it. And here's him on a DC Collectibles flight stand, and he is a really nice figure. I hopefully will add a photo montage of him, and at the end of the video, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.